Hi there, I'm Marty Owings and welcome to this week's Art Tips. Today I want to take a look at thumbnail sketches. I want to talk a little bit about the utility of thumbnail sketches, maybe unlock some of the secrets and demystify thumbnail sketches a little bit for you and just talk about how I use them in my process and what I look for and why they're important in the evolution of better uh, drawings and paintings. This is some of the gear I'll use today. I may, may not use all of it, but um, I've got it on hand anyway. This is a quick look at some of the thumbnail sketches I'll do today. Now I'm going to just sketch out six quick boxes. I like boxes, rectangles, anything like that that can contain my thumbnail. I dropped an eraser there. I hope not to use it because thumbnail sketches really are just basic, but I keep an eraser on hand just in case. I'm going to sharpen up this TK9400 Faber-Castell pencil with a, I think it's got like a 4B lead in it, so it's pretty soft. And I'm gonna take most of what I do for these thumbnail sketches today right out of my head. Um, I may use a little bit of reference uh, from the inter internet, but I'm just really trying to pull this stuff out of my head and get it on paper. What is a thumbnail sketch and why are they? why do they exist? Well, I don't know the whole entire history of uh, thumbnail sketches, but I know they're used a lot in illustration um, and in advertising and in different forms of art and in the regular process of fine art just to get a better idea of your uh, composition, uh, the layout. You could even go into tonal value and color in a thumbnail sketch. You can do a lot with a thumbnail sketch, but what a thumbnail sketch isn't, and this is just my opinion, it really isn't a finished work. Now, a thumbnail sketch can be a work of art, that's for sure, and I certainly enjoy looking at people's thumbnail sketches, and, and when I see them in sketchbooks, I'm always fascinated by it, but I'm more around the process than anything else. And so, thumbnail sketches to me aren't finished work, they're a part of the evolution in a finished work. And I'll tell you why I use thumbnail sketches. Basically, thumbnail sketches help me determine whether or not I want to actually do a certain painting or drawing, and they help me eliminate mistakes in that future work that I might do because I took the time to lay the work out in a thumbnail. Now, certainly not everyone needs to do thumbnail drawings. Obviously, they're not for everybody, but for somebody who kind of wants to advance their work a little bit and see through some of their mistakes and make sure that their composition is correct and even get down to tonal value and color, this can be a really good step. I guess in the olden days of yore, a, a, pen, a painter, a master painter, might do a thumbnail sketch, then a watercolor study, then an oil study, and then do their finished oil painting. But um, really, I think thumbnail sketches as an art form in themselves is, is just great. I have no argument with that. I don't call it a finished work, obviously, but there sometimes people do thumbnail sketches that are so beautiful uh, that they certainly could be characterized as finished work. I try not to make uh, that judgment, even though I said earlier that thumbnails really aren't finished works of art. It's just because of that's, how, that's not how they're used. But can they end up that way? Certainly. I don't dispute that, and I even enjoy it myself. So... Here you can see a number of these thumbnail sketches. I uh, just enjoy doing these, but I get an idea of, of where I want to put things in another painting. And this particular uh, thumbnail sketch, the last one, has really what I think is kind of a nice composition with that nice, cool, interesting tree off to the right and the farmhouse in the background. And so this one I might want to take a step further, add a little paint to, get an idea of color, and maybe take this thumbnail sketch to the next level at some point. But the whole idea is to get through this sketch in a, maybe a matter of minutes, really, rather than, you know, a half hour or something. We're talking about minutes. So here I'm going to take some of the paint and I'm just going to block in some basic colors. This is a number 10 flat on a really small uh, thumbnail sketch. So I'm not looking for precision here or anything like that, just blocking in. There's a little yellow sky. And even when I did that, I thought to myself, I wanna make this a winter scene. So I took some white casein paint and and kind of you know brightened up that snow in the foreground there. 
and then I'll add this shadow and blue for the tree but it's kind of turned into a nice little uh, snowy scene and I kind of like that I think that's if I was going to take this painting to the next level or this thumbnail and do another work another uh, study with it and then maybe a finished work this gives me an idea of layout and color and composition and all that stuff so you can go a long way in a thumbnail and again this is my opinion this is my practice other people's opinions or practice with thumbnails may differ but I've been having a lot of fun with thumbnails lately just in it, by themselves not as a finished work not as the complete work but maybe as a work of art in an, in and of itself you know something to look at um, it's fun I like looking at people's sketchbooks and seeing thumbnail sketches in because I get an idea of what their process was and here I'm just gonna hand freehand some squares around here just to add a little bit of definition and then we'll wrap this up and that's uh, that's thumbnails uh, in, an, in a uh, nutshell thumbnail nutshell yeah that's that's about it and um, you know I, I'd love to hear how you use thumbnails if you do uh, and, and if you don't why don't you uh, drop me a, a note down in the comments section I'd I'd love to hear and thanks to a viewer who suggested I do a video on thumbnails I really appreciate it and and so here it is by request and uh, I hope we've unlocked a little bit of the secrets of thumbnails here don't forget to subscribe hit the like button it, it feels good to hit the thumbs up thanks for watching this has been Marty for OwingsArt.com